Hi, Rob Aldrich here at the Giga um, uh, Green IT Show with Rich Miller. I am Cisco's principal for Energy Efficient Solutions. I focus primarily on data center, and we here we were here doing a roundtable today with Rich. So, so tell us about uh, some of uh, Cisco's new uh, energy tracking uh, measurement products. Sure. So we released uh, what we call Cisco Energy Wise on January 27th of this year, uh, along with our announcement of our acquisition of Richard Zeta at the same time. And basically what we've done with this core code is we've uh, allowed for common monitoring and control uh, very much in the way we look at IP addressing. So this, this just using a simple UDP as, as a protocol, can expose commonly energy use across a whole range of infrastructure. And the best part is it's free and it's open. It's simply an iOS code upgrade, so it runs re retroactively on Cisco infrastructure. So now the network becomes your platform for monitoring and control of energy. And one of the ways I usually sort of summarize this is um, it's very much like desktop shutdown software that we're all familiar with, but for anything that sits on a network. So uh, how is this rolling out? Tell me a little bit about what the timetable is for the different uh different you know, levels of the project and uh, what's going to be supported? Sure. So our timelines for development are really in, in three main phases. Uh, the first phase was the release of the core code. Um, today, you can use that if you're a network manager who's uh, familiar with and competent with CLI, command line interface. Um, you can set up energy domains and you can put in automated uh, shutdown policies already. Um, our second phase, uh, tied to the Richard Zeta acquisition, is going to be the ability to um, extend the touch of an IP network using these Richard Zeta mediator products. Um, to start to interface with uh, building management automation systems. And that second phase is when we'll all also be releasing our first dashboards. Uh, and that will all tie into our third phase where these dashboards will not just cover monitoring of building management automation systems, but in some cases control. And we think what we're going to be able to do there is correlate um, IT uh, or load of supply requirements uh, with, with, the, with the supply side and the facility side. So we're really moving towards active energy management across uh, facilities and IT within the next 10 months. And, and uh, tell me a little bit about the Richard Zeta acquisition. What, what did they do? Where, where does that, uh, how does that fit? Yep, so basically Richard Zeta makes a, a small protocol converter type of box. They call it a mediator. Uh, mediation meaning that it doesn't just do monitoring like some of the protocol converters you've seen in the past. You know, APC makes, it, makes them, a lot of people make them. Uh, but you think about it, uh, the facility side is, um, the, the number one um, standard over on that side is Modbus, right? And Modbus doesn't talk uh, natively to SNMP. You use something like a BACnet traditionally to convert those two over. Basically what Richard's data does is it takes all the different facilities protocols that are over there and it converts them over to SNMP. Uh, but it also gives bi-directional command, command line interface too, back over to the BMS side. So, in essence, you're just extending the touch of your Ethernet network now to um, discover, monitor, and control the facility stuff. And tell me a little bit about the software. I've seen some some uh, screenshots. Uh, you know, what what kind of capabilities is that going to have? It looks like. Yep. So we're working on those dashboards now. Um, I think we'll have our first ones out in the midsummer uh, time frame. And basically what we're trying to build this for, um, the, the user that we have in mind is this, um, this white whale of the CSO, right, the Chief Sustainability Officer that everyone has sort of a, a different version of. Um, but, you know, we've, we've tried to engineer, the, we're trying to engineer these dashboards with this person in mind. And you know, when they show up at work in the morning, um, let's just use the example of Cisco as a user. They, you know, they can fire up a dashboard, see how much energy Cisco is using across the enterprise, where it's going, uh, in time, how efficiently it's being used, and then also in time with smart grid coming online, how many emissions it's generating. Um, so that would be sort of the high-level dashboard. Now, as you drill down into that, um, what you'll be able to set up through this interface is policy um, policy engines that relate to particular time of day type policies, badge swipe policies, but. Basically, you know, an algebra type of policy, if, if, if X, do Y, and this is how we can start to sync up and control energy use based on load profiles. And so the full uh, program will be available when? Uh, our first iteration will be available in the summer time frame. We're shooting for um, probably July on that, uh, maybe September. We'll, we'll announce it as it comes closer. But we're looking for uh, late summer, early fall for our first management applications to come out. And then the second round of those management applications, including all the facility stuff, we'll, we're shooting for January of uh, 2010. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, everyone. All right.